everyone, it's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings here with another episode of Ephemera Making. And uh, I've been doing some searching and watching on YouTube and looking to see what kind of things were out there and that kind of stuff. And I ran across um, this little, it's, it's done by Roxy Creations. And um, it was a challenge that she did about two years ago. And I think this is called a, an envelope flip, envelope flip, maybe. And um, I made this one, and it turned out so cute. And I thought, well, I'll give my world, my chance, a, give me a chance to see what I can do. So... I'm going to make one today. I'm in the process of making several journals that I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks and months. And uh, I wanted to kind of start getting some ephemera together so that when I get ready to actually put the book together, I won't have to stop every day and, and do little ephemera. So I'm doing some things ahead of time. So this is my take on Roxy's creation. Uh, challenge for the envelope flip. Now, what we do, or what I do, I don't know how this is going to work, but we start out with an envelope, just a regular, uh, just a regular envelope. This is envelopes that we got in mail, and I'm going to, she split hers, but I'm not very good at doing that, so I'm just going to take a very slim section down here at the bottom and also up here at the top just very slim a sliver so that it opens this envelope up like this and then we are skipping a trash can over here where I reach it and then we are going to cut this back part off because we don't need it we're not going to throw it away of course but we don't need this part, so, uh, yeah, let's just cut it like this. Now, we're not going to throw this away, we'll save it for something else, but there's our little, our little window, our little front page of our pocket, and uh, as y'all know, Cutting straight is not my forte, so anyway, the first thing that we're going to do is take this side over here, the one that's farthest away from the little window, and turn it over and fold it down about half an inch, all the way down, and you know, folding straight isn't my forte either, so we're going to give it a whirl here. Get my bone folder. Maybe that'll help narrow it down a little bit. Well, good gracious sakes in the morning. Maybe I should put it on my scoreboard. There, I think we cut it. Okay. Open that back up. This is going to be our little flap that we're going to fold in or glue into our journal. We're going to do it from here. Like this. Okay. And then we're going to take this bottom part here. And we're going to fold it up. And she folded hers up a little higher so that she could reinforce that. So I think we'll do that. Fold that down right there. And then we're going to see. Oh, I left quite a bit. So fold this down. And then when we get ready, make it fit right there at the bottom of that window. So when you turn it over, you don't see it sticking out through the window. So this is how tall our envelope flip is going to end up being. Alrighty, so then we'll turn it over here, very slightly cut in at an angle right here, cut this at an angle, 
and cut off this little corner up here for an angle. Okay. There we go. And now we're ready to start gluing and all that kind of stuff. So, what we're going to do first, I am doing one on a, a book on fairies, a fairy book. And so I wanted to do these in blues. And I thought, okay, I have this pretty, pretty blue paper. And I thought maybe we could put it right on here. What we're going to do is collage around this window here. Pull it down, and there we go. Now, I did this other one with my tearing ruler, but I think that this time I am going to just use my straight ruler and tear it so that it'll be a little more, a little more straight, not quite so. Okay, there we go. Now, when we get ready to do this, we don't want to put paper on the back of this little flap right here. We're going to cover the inside to make it because that's going to show. But this is going to be glued down to your page. And you don't want any more bulk there than you have to have. So what we're going to do is just glue this on here right at the edge and then we're going to tear it off. So we'll put that right there like that find my glue and we're just going to start gluing right here glue this all down really good because we want it to stick don't want it flying up and then we'll put this right here down at the bottom right up next to the edge of the window and glue it down. Okay. Want that that using your bone folder kind of helps it spread out that glue a little bit. Then we're gonna turn it back over here. And let's do it this direction. Over and do it down here at the bottom or at, at the top I think we are officially at the top okay. so then we have our little piece glued in there we go all right now then I just got these little doilies out I thought well you never know we might can use those for something um, I have some other paper here and I thought this is just some digital paper that I got out on Etsy and it's all falling into the blue category so I thought that would kind of work so we'll glue this down on this side Here, make sure it's covering up the edge of the window. You don't want that little piece of window showing through. So, just glue it down. Put that somewhere. I'll turn this over. Do the same thing that we did on the other side. down here at the bottom. Okay. So there we go. We've got that first part done. Now let's go ahead and go on into the inside. And I need something on the inside. And I thought, well, maybe um, a word, a, a book page would work and put it on the inside. 
so. But I don't want all this black stuff over here, so I'm going to fold this out. These are just this is an old book that I got at the library. They were giving them away one day. And I thought, oh, books. It's pretty. Okay, I can do this. So I'm going to put this right here on this side and do it right there. All of our words are covered. I mean, all of our space is covered with words, so that's going to work. So I'm going to turn it back upside this way. And this time we are going to cover this little flap. Because, like I said, that flap is going to be um, when we put it in our, in our junk journal. So, um, we want to make sure it's pretty and not just some ugly white envelope laying there. <laughs> so, we'll put this. Let's scoot it up just a little bit so we don't have... We have words covering the whole thing. There we go. Tuck that down pretty good. We'll turn it over, get our little ruler, and tear off the little pieces. We can cut this off. Like I said, I just don't like having quite so much bulk. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. It's going to be covered up, so it's not really going to matter. Turn it back over here and cut, cut our little edgings. Apparently I didn't cut that one very angled, so let's cut it a little bit. When we have this, we can fold this back over here, so that's going to look nice. All right. So we have part of it done on the inside. This will be our part that is glued down. So this is going to be glued down to your page. This will this will flip over so it'll look really nice and neat. Okay. Now one thing that I'm not going to do on the bottom but I am going to do on the top uh, which I do often I'm going to round these little corners a little bit just so it adds a little bit to it. Uh, I'm not going to do it at the bottom though because I don't want it to interfere with our tag. And uh, let's see what else we can find here that we might can put on the top. Okay. We just need a little piece up here. But I, I like this little nubbin right there. So let's cut this. Or tear it. Not We're not cutting it. These are some papers that... I tried printing, but the the printer, my printer did some funky stuff, so um, it didn't come out quite as as pretty as I thought. And then I got that look cute down there on top. All right, so let's glue this on. center because I want that little piece on there. Okay. And then we will tear this right here. That was not very smart. All right, let's go ahead and do it this way. Over there. Then we can 
and turn this around. Okay, I got those sheets off. So it's kind of like a little collage, like I said. Glue this down really good because we didn't glue it down before. That one's glued. Okay. Now then, um, let's put um, another little piece of this kind of cool looking pattern here. We'll put this here on the inside. That'll work. That'll work. So, hid my glue from myself, which I do often. over and tear it off again. Probably should have waited until I got finished before I rounded off these little edges, but uh, that would be way too simple. So, can't do that. And that would only be a one step thingy. So, alright, I'm going to fly down there. I'm going to have to find something to put right down here, but that's okay. We'll do that. And then we have, let's go ahead and fold this little, this is just simply to reinforce because these envelopes can be kind of flimsy sometimes. And so we want that opening, the opening that's going to be going with your tag inside uh, to be reinforced a little bit so that um, it will be a little more sturdy for our wear and tear here. Okay. And then we do need something on here, but I think that what I'm going to do is go back and put a little piece of this to kind of tie that together. I wonder if that will fit. Actually, it will. So, we'll pull this off. And put this on here. And that will work perfect. We'll go on just a little bit to make sure. Okay. this side down a little bit. Put this on. Okay. Glue that down so that it's stuck pretty good. Tear our little edges off. A little piece up here, a little piece down here. I wonder how this would work. Like right there. Since it is a fairy thing, I think that would be kind of cool. But that white bothers me. And I like it better with the blue on it. I actually like it a bit better there. I think we'll put a little bit of this on here. Smooth that out with my finger. 
Hanging down over there just a little bit. Get a napkin. Since this is a little flimsier, I think I will just cut it here. Yeah, that looks kind of cute. All right. And then we could put another piece over here, but... Now that would be kind of cute because it that blue, the solid blue covers up the the white. And it doesn't show through so bad. Hmm. Alrighty. And let's just cut this. You know, the hardest thing that I have is trying to keep up with some stuff. this down right here on this white part. And once that little doily gets saturated with um, glue, it gets really, really thin. So I don't want to try tearing it because I think it will just tear completely, just completely up. Good. Kind of ties the two sides together. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here. I am going to stitch around this, but I want to hold it in place to make sure this is where our pocket is going to be, right down in here. So, and we need one more something, something right here. I don't really know what that something something should be. Let's see. What about this little piece right in here?
sure those edges are covered together pretty well. And I want it to look collaged, so I'm going to leave that little piece right there. Alrighty. Now then, we have all of our little pockets done. I am going to step over here to my sewing machine and sew this around real quick. So give me just a second. Let's see how we're going to start. Where do we start? Just a little simple zigzag stitch. Well, it's kind of got some ickies on it, but that's all right. That makes it look better. Put our little right there, and there we go. And we have our little our little pocket. This is the pocket part. This is where the glue will be. Um, not put. Um, I don't use double-sided tape much anymore but let's put a piece on there so it reminds us that this is the way it's supposed to be and that I didn't forget something because somewhere down the line my brain will say uh oh I didn't do something there so we'll just put a little piece on there and then of course when we get ready to put it in the book will glue it because the tape doesn't last forever so all right there we go now let's see if we can find some um, some blue ink find my ink thing and let's just ink around it And those of you that know me know I um, tend to be a pretty heavy inker. I like ink. I like for it to stand out. Look, like it to all kind of mix in together. And then I have another little piece over here I threw in the trash, and I'm going to just lay it right here, kind of ink around the edges of this. Do the same on the other side. There we go. Now that looks really nice. Turn it over on the inside. Go ahead and do some inking on the inside too because we want it to be pretty as well. We don't want to be accused of taking, making choices over our sides. That way that came out when I did that little corner kind of bothers me. So I think I'm going to cut that off a little bit. Make it okay. And there we go. And there's our little pocket. Now, I have some other things here. I have some, some uh, of this stuff. I love this stuff here. 
and this is in gold and I thought maybe I might put it around our pocket like we did on the the other one and that one will look really pretty really nice I like that okay so since we're gonna deal with some some ribbon and stuff let's put that up before it dries out and we'll just go right down this little edge here and what I'm using here is fabric hat glue and you know you have to use your own what you like but uh, Fabri-Tac works really nicely when you're dealing with um, fabrics, laces. Works well on paper as well, but it really does work nice and holds lace and things down really nicely. So let me put that right there. And do the other side. Take this one. And I'm letting those kind of, those leaves kind of hold over into the um, the window simply because I think it makes it look kind of magical like oh what's hiding in there you know? And I like that, so I'll put this one cut it off right there. Now you don't have to put one at the bottom, but I kind of like it because I think it makes it look cool, makes it look complete and finished. So I'm gonna cut this little nubbin off right here. And then we'll glue this down. Kind of makes it look like a little frame there. Hmm, I don't know if I like that extra. I think I may cut this little leaf off. Because it's interfering with, now it's stuck to me. Oh goodness. It's interfering with the other leaf and I don't want that so we'll do it like that and then cut this off right here at the corner okay. and then we'll come back up here and do just a little piece up here at the top and it looks like we may have to Kind of do the same thing. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to cut this off. And I think. Well. This is the leaf that needs to come off. So I have two little leaves there. And we'll put those right there. That'll work. I think that'll work just perfect. Okay, so we'll cut this little nubbin off down here on the bottom so it's not sticking out there like what in the world and where did you come from and where are you supposed to be and we'll put you it's all stuck to my hands so and I think we'll leave this one sticking out right there now then, I kind of like that. And we could use these two little leaves down here like fallen leaves. Right there. If I can 
don't get them unstuck from their fingers. That would be nice. So we'll put one of these right here. One of these right here. And I have one right here too. And I know that I have learned from my art friends that you should always do things in threes. So we'll just do three leaves. There we go. Now we have our little front decorated. You can decorate the inside if you'd like, but your tags are going to fit in here, so it's not going to show just a whole lot in there. And what I wanted to do was to make a little tag out of these. Let's see which one's going to look best in there. Oh, I like that. That's pretty have our little our little fairy right there in the window that would be cute so so cute alrighty so let's oh goodness gracious you know what I never yes I did okay I thought I turned off my camera and never turned it on and then I was sitting here by myself just talking and having a good old time. But I decided while I was sewing not to turn off the machine because of that reason. So, alright, so let's cut this. Now I'll go on another quest for another tool. There it is. And I'll cut this off right here. And I need it to be about like that. So we'll cut it off about right here. And little tag there save that put that right there and then our little gal our little fairy gal will fit right in here and she doesn't have to fit down in there very far just a little bit and she's gonna fit just perfect right there right there all right now, what I'm also going to do, because then this is what you see on when you put it in your book. We have this little thing. So, I think that I will ink this up. Just get a little bit more. I've used faded blue jeans. Nope, just faded jeans, not blue jeans. I live in Texas, though, so jeans are blue jeans. And it doesn't matter whether they're black, white, khaki. It doesn't matter. They're blue jeans. Okay. And then, you know, I don't like white, so I have to kind of smoky up the back of it a little bit so that it looks nice. Do the front. Now, we have these two little gals. This is a this is a, a little fairy with a mermaid. So I want to lay her right here and see if we're going to be able to get them all in. And we will. And then we will cut this off again and make a second tag to turn 
and face the other direction. And I tell you, this is really difficult for me because I just bought these little fairy cards. I did buy them specifically. Well, that didn't work. Um, I did buy them specifically for the fairy book that I'm going to make. But I am real bad. If you've seen the inside of my uh, scrap room, you can see that. Well, that didn't cut or diddly squat. But it did cut my other one, so I'm going to have to cut that down ever so slightly. Alrighty. Okay, and uh, anyway, it is very difficult for me to use things. I buy them because I think they're pretty, and I like it, but then it hurts. <laughs> hurts my heart when I have to use it. So, this is difficult, but I'm trying to get better about this. Because for one thing, I cannot have all of this stuff. And so my goal for this year is to use up some of my stuff and spread the joy because I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. And I want to share that with family, friends, subscribers. So, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click down there and, and subscribe. If you like what you've seen, put the, uh, click that like button. And uh, I do also have a, uh, a website. It's uh, www.pinkdragonflywingswithaz.com. And uh, come check us out. Okay. So we're going to put her right in here so she shows through our window. And then we're going to take this little guy and turn her around and put her in here as well. So that we can see that she looks pretty from the inside as well. Isn't that cute? All right, so there's our little envelope flip, and I, I hope I didn't embarrass Roxy's creations by doing this. Uh, check out her website as well. Um, I would link it down below in the description box, but I don't know how to do that. So if somebody knows how to do that and can help me, please send it on, and I'll work on that. And hopefully get better. So anyway, that's our project for the day. So thank you for checking in with me. Try to make your own. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.